everybody welcome back to my channel it's Christy here to do the general forecast for the sign of Libra Sun Moon and Rising this is for the month of January 2019 it's for Libra Sun Moon and Rising signs I hope that you enjoyed your general reading for your sign in December 2018 as well as your love reading you can look forward to a love romance and creativity reading for your sign this month as well messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising for January 2019. General messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, January 2019. Messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, January 2019. General messages for Libra. General messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. January 2019. Oh. Oh, a little bit of rest, mental rest is necessary. That could be a message for one or a group of Libras. Putting your mind to rest. Libra 2019 general messages. <laughs> Look at those flipping out. Libra sun, moon, rising. January 2019. There we go. So I'll be looking at bottom of the deck energy for you in addition to your five cards today. There you have this really beautiful independent wealth. Look at this. So if you're feeling like you're not doing too well in life, Libra, maybe just pause and take a minute and be grateful for everything that you do have because uh, that's a really gorgeous uh, practical wealth card. Really, really nice energy there for you. Look at that. And you've got two aces. Holy smokes. Three aces. Libra, I'm telling you straight up. Straight up, any Libra who's watching and for general reading for the month of January, be prepared to take the reins of a new direction for yourself. Look at this. Ace of Wands, Swords, and Pentacles. New opportunities coming your way, grab them. Do not, do not pass. Your truth is what you're going to end the month on. Your truth significant improvement in life due to this and a brand new opportunity here in the workplace okay um these could very well have something to do uh, together this is in the position of work this is the unexpected so it could just be a new job offer um, an increase in pay it could be um, a new setting for you you've asked for something it's coming to fruition finally perhaps you've put out a job um, resumes or looking for a new position this is being made available to you this could be something as um, obvious as a job interview um, so and you and you get to tell your truth here you get to feel as though you are safe here uh, especially mentally or psychologically and yeah, the fact that you're leaving something, you know, your role in this situation, which was really feeling rejected, feeling left out here, that's not how you're going to leave the month. You could be dealing uh, with an Aquarius. King of Swords is the Aquarian card. Of course, it's um, all of the angel signs. So the Taurus, the Aquarius, um, Leo and I just had it in my head. Taurus, oh, Scorpio are all the kings. And of course, the air is Aquarius. That's a cold energy, but it could serve you. Um, this is what's going on in the home. Uh, but it's a very decisive. Uh, this is a lawyer. This is a judge. Okay, someone is doing a lot of judging um, in the home. But again, if this is about a new opportunity for you or a new direction for you, this is you have made up your mind. You have made that judgment here and perhaps you need to be cold about it or there needs to be a, um, a severity to it in order for you to let go and move ahead. And like I said, remember, you're already starting off better than what you had mm, perhaps anticipated or dreamed or thought. So maybe count your blessings here and new opportunities will be made available to you in the position representing 
your work. Yeah, here's where we have a new opportunity. So again, somebody's going to offer you something that you really wanted here, or you're going to grab something by the horns, or in the workplace, something is something comes your way, something put, falls in your lap, and you have so many opportunities to go get that. I think it could be something that you've been yearning for here as well. It could be relating to the Nine of Pentacles here, where you're finally saying to yourself, oh, I can relax. This is finally coming my way. It's um, an opportunity or a risk that you are willing to take or grasp uh, to serve you and your interests. Here in the home, this is what I was saying about a little bit of, you know, there has to be a cutoff period or something that's a little bit severe here. Uh, Aquarius is 11th house energy, so it's not about enemies. This is not about, you know, creating or controlling enemies. This is really about brotherhood and sisterhood. Uh, but in order to feel that, you are part of the community as well. So I think you're simply taking care of yourself at this time by putting your foot down around something or just simply making um, an absolute decision here, a judgment, okay? Um, this is also having all the facts. This is an incredibly intelligent card. This is moving forward with intelligence. Um, but you know what? It can be accused of being cold for good reason because you have to take all other elements of a personality out of a situation and just make a cold, hard uh, decision here. Here with the unexpected is that gorgeous Ace of Pentacles. Look at how beautiful this card is, first of all. Um, but yeah, we're dealing with practical matters here. So the unexpected is a job, might be offered to you, um, or a new living arrangement, or a new way of living. Um, this could be, again, because this is in the world of your work, it could be you finally saying, I'm going to apply for something that I really want, and look what's made available to you. Unexpectedly, you're given that job offer, or even better, given that job, or <laughs> ticket, or, you know, chance, or opportunity, or you know, element of protection. Again, as a general reading, only you can decide what that is, but it's a beautiful new opportunity here for you by you having taken a chance here. Here is your role in the situation. This is really, it's a little bit of self-pity, um, rejection, okay? Sense of poverty, not actual poverty, a sense of poverty. So, you know, your role in the situation is going to be heaved and it's going to be hoed here. I really hope this is part of you heaving it, okay? It's You don't need to do this to yourself. This is your role in the situation. Don't hold yourself down. Don't hold yourself back. Make a decision. Get out of your own way. Improve things. Welcome improvement. Make room for improvement. Because look at your outcome, your truth. A beautiful new beginning of mind, thought, or process here. Belief systems, um, expression. Communication, okay? So really beautiful outcome for you. Absolutely beautiful reading, Libra. It's been, well, it's been a minute since we've done a really nice, um, I'm going to help myself out of the dark reading for you. So really pleased to see this. Um, if there is an opportunity in your environment, and I don't mean advantageous to the point of someone else going without or, you know, we're, we're not at all or ever in any sense of, you know, stealth or fabrication, that type of thing. We're just talking pure honesty, pure honesty, right? Your truth, your decision, your direction, that's it. You're just being honest with yourself. And by virtue of being honest with yourself, you can be honest with others. And once you make that decision, look, that's a, that's a powerful thing, making that decision. Because it, it's not up for debate, right? It's not up for debate. People have to say, oh, okay, well, I guess we're doing it that way now. Or I guess you're, you're this or that now. And then they deal with it or they don't. But it's your decision. <laughs> boundaries and forgiveness. So the opossum is boundaries. Really, really, really important right now. In fact, this could be part and parcel of you getting exactly these opportunities that you need because you have put your foot down. You have created very specific um, and important boundaries for yourself where you won't be taken advantage of and you won't get in your own way anymore. And this forgiveness card, it's really important 
to forgive yourself sometimes. Forgiving others, I mean, it's obvious. Other people do us wrong, tick us off. They're not there when we need them. Okay, other people let us down all the time. But you know what? By and large, we have a lot of self-forgiveness as well. So you decide how to use that energy, whether it's to forgive someone else or forgive yourself for having been in your way or not your best friend um, when you needed it. And then brush that off your shoulders and consider these gorgeous aces your best friend and just move forward. Rid yourself of all the garbage. Cut off whatever it isn't working for you here. Make that executive decision here, okay? You're gonna be the judge, okay, Libra? And leave everything behind that isn't working. All the best to you in the month of January. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take excellent care. Bye for now.